Okay. Let's do the review book for school. Today's a panicky, attacky day. Boy. I've been thinking about Moses calling God's name in the ark. <laughs> How big is the ark? I, I just brought that up, so that's kind of funny. But, you know, Saliendo La Nina, leaving the girl, baby girl. How would you want the Ten Commandments? God made those. That's him. How nice can you be with somebody? Nice words. You know. You gotta be really nice if you want to make it the Holy Spirit. So, I'm trying to find where I was in my book. Here it is. The three most important things in your life. He, you see his presence bring you peace when you obey his instructions, calmness, and in your spirit. The greatest warfare in your life is the Holy Spirit versus your flesh and yourself. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, the contrary one or another. So that things you cannot, thing cannot do the things that you would. And when you permit leadership of the Holy Spirit in your life, you will enter the most remarkable and unforgettable season of calm inner peace you could imagine. I haven't got to the G's point, but it seems more like when I read the Bible, I pick, like, love-making stuff. When I listen to it, I don't. Man cannot give this peace. Popularity does not create this kind of peace. Wealth does not produce this kind of peace. Psychiatrics do not produce this kind of peace. A loving mate does not produce this kind of peace. Uncommon peace is a gift from the uncommon God, and peace from God, which passes all understanding shall keep your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. When you focus on the Holy Spirit, you'll develop the mind of Christ. For to be carnally minded is to is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. When the Holy Spirit becomes your focus, the storm in your mind begins to settle. You enter in the rest he promised, and the rest wherewith you may cause weary to rest. And this is refreshing. The Holy Spirit must become your focus before you experience total continuance peace that will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts thee. I really need to talk to the Spirit about reading my Bible lately because I'm so busy with homeschooling and school and it's hard to exercise. It's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up. It really is. I need to pray for inspiration. For funniness of the Holy Spirit. Um. I got my AA book. Got my, um. Okay. We're going to talk about distractions of the human path and the relaxation therapy book. And that can be funny, talking about love making God distractions. Okay, so do you love our Lord our God? Yes. Is he loves you? Yes. Do you love him and the person of the Holy Spirit? Well, I wonder how other people do. And you wish to have devotion to him and the Holy Spirit, learning how to pray this way. Well, the miracle prayer request today would be, I had it in my head, but I kind of forgot um, what I was miraculously praying for today. Um... I had it in my head. <laughs> oh, but I do remember something. It's um, intelligent words of working and success that we could use today. Let me walk inside and get them. That'll be our miracle prayer request. Some intelligent words and walk inside and get the intelligent words.
Okay, some of the intelligent words we use for success. 101 words for success. We got object, being extremely measurable state. Abjure, to solemnly or by formal process. Abstinent, the voluntary of giving something up, one who gives something up. I'm trying to think of words that I kind of already know. So, let's see here. Most of the B's I'm not knowing so far. Bainin, not harmful, kind and gentle. Beseech. To ask urgently or desperately. Um, infinity, a positive emotional bonding with someone or something. Affirmation, the state of act of confirming or approving of something. So we'll just um, look up this page and we'll look at page next. So, because this is kind of awful lot. Agnostic, one who won't decide whether God exists. I didn't even realize what I was reading. Why don't we just read the A's, and then we'll go through each letter. So... Amenable, willing to go along with something. Appraise, to judge something, quality or value. Hmm. Adverse, greed. Atheist, someone who doesn't believe in God. Adverse, having a strong feeling or detaste or unwillingness. So I'm just reading these back and forth, these things that I can... At peace, to calm, relieve. Antsy, fidgety, impatient, nervous. I need a blessing in my life. <laughs> I said I noticed a piece of food stuck on my phone. So those are the A's. So here we go with the Holy Spirit. Miracle prayer request. Um, inspiration. I need so much inspiration. Friendships. Good wordings. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore thee, enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me, console me, tell me what I should do, give me thy orders. I promise to submit myself to all desire of me and accept all that permitted to happen to me. Let me only know thy will. Amen. Another beautiful one as follows. O Holy Spirit, make me see everything and show me thy way to reach my ideal. Those who have the divine gift to forgive and forget what is wrong done to me. And who are in all instances of my life with me. In this short dialogue, I want to thank thee from everything and confirm once more that I never wanted to be separated from thee. No matter how great the material desire may be. I want to be with thee and thy loved ones in perpetual glory. Amen. How to pray the rosary to the Holy Spirit. The act of contrition. Oh my God, I'm heartily sorry for offended thee. Um, I detest all my sins because thou hast punished me, but most of all, they offend thee, O oh my God, who are all good and deserving of my love. I firmly resolve with the help of my grace to sin no more and avoid the occasion of sin. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Pick a person, any person. So, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespassers. We forgive those who trespass against us. Trespassers. Very funny. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil one. Trespass against me, everyone. Hello. Earth to everyone. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespassers. We forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and now shall be, a world without an end. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and now and will shall be, a world without an end. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever will be, a world without an end. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever will be, a world without an end. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever be, a world without an end. Glory be to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever will be, a world without end. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever shall be, a world without end. First joyful mystery. Well, I don't really have to say that, but the angel, the you know, of the Lord conceived. He told, well, Virgin Mary was conceived by the Holy Spirit, right? And then the other day when I felt really bad and I was vomiting all day yesterday from a burrito I ate in the middle of the night, I seen an angel when I woke up that morning on my Facebook or something. And then I went to eat a sample and I said, can I have another one? Because that's what I eat in the midday time. I don't have that much money. And the man said, this is the second time you asked for two samples. And I wanted to vomit everywhere after I ate it. I was nauseous. So, But he was nice to me and gave it to me. And I had to go get some crackers from the back. This is what I do always on my way home. But I figured the nauseous was a little thing for me to tell me not to eat no more in my sleep. Because I'm on a diet. And I got diabetes. I eat sugar all the way to school. But another thing is, um, another thing is, um, I can't remember. But I was nauseous and, you know. I got some free food from a church today, strawberries and everything. Okay, when Jesus was baptized, the heavens were opened up, and he saw the Spirit of God descending upon him like a dove, a lightning on him, and a low voice heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, who I am well pleased. Third, our Lord Jesus was driven to the desert. Fourth, the apostles received the gift of the Holy Spirit. Five, our bodies is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So... So I'm out here on my porch. Hopefully nobody comes out. So let's pray for the Holy Spirit to bless us today. Oh, and I also got to read, um, let's get it out before I forget, the Cosmo book. Oh, and let's not forget AA. Got AA. So let's read the AA right now. Okay. But, about the real alcoholic, he may start off to be a moderate drinker. He may not become a continuous drinker, but at some stage of his drinking career, he begins to lose control of his liquor consumption. Once he starts to drink, he hears fellows who should be puzzling you, especially in the lack of control. He does absurd, incredible, tragic things while he's drinking. He is real Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He is seldom mightily intoxicated. He is always more and less insanely drunk. He is disposition while drinking resembles his normal nature but a little. He may be one of the finest fellows in the world, yet let drink for a day. He frequently becomes disgustingly, even dangerously antisocial. He has positive genius for getting tight exactly wrong moment particularly when some important decision may be made engagement kept he is often perfectly sensible and well balanced concerning everything except liquor 
but that respect he's incredibly dishonest and selfish. He often possesses special abilities, skills, and aptitudes and has a promising career ahead of him. He uses gifts to build up bright look for his family and himself and pulls a structure down on his head in a senseless series of sprees. He is a fellow who goes to bed intoxicated and he ought to sleep clock around, yet early the next morning he searches madly for the bottle misplaced night before. Okay. And the other one, because I think I might have just finished the sentence on the other one, if a sufficiently strong reason, ill health, falling love, or change environment, or the warming of a doctor becomes operative, this man can stop or moderate or may find difficult, troublesome, even need medical attention. So I'm going to read my school after this. So let's talk about how people can be atheist, agnostic. I think those were the words. Let's not have people trespass. But let's have people, you know, be there. Hira the Lord. Ukamana. I feel the Holy Spirit. Pondele. On the Holy Spirit. Hurala. The Holy Spirit is como un fantasma. Hirala. Hikamana. Sida the Lord. Hurala. Pondele me. Holy Spirit. Un Spirito de mi alma. Mi alma is saliendo. Hurala. Hurala quiere me. Holy Spirit. On the lay. Halale, Udale, Palale, Amana Shikanya, Dalalala Manana, Hudala, Andela, Mandela, Fandela, Rangola, Pangola, Tangola, Hamana, Samana, Hudala, Padala, Manana Shikanya, Manana Nana Fanyana. Amana Shikanya, Dios Hurala, Hurala, Murala, Radala, Fadala, Sadala, Hurala, 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 Purala, 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 Taka, 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 Raka, 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 Pudala, Pudala, Madala, He Kamana, Isila, Sila, Sila, Asila, Sila, Sila, Hudala, Ana, She Kamanya, How did the Lord, Amana, Nanya, E did the Lord, How did the Lord, Mal did the Lord, Unya Manana, Unya Manana, Tomando, Famando, Ire la lor, manana shikanya, halala inya, hamana sira, hurala, pinya, mana sira, halala la lor, salala la lor, mana shikanya, mi bonita, halalinia, halala shikanya, mana nana nanya, furala, murala, hallelujah, mininya, ho nana. Fally mini, na kana shila lor. Hudala, pudala, dikame halala. Halala andale, malala shikanya, hallelujah, hulala. But I don't know. I have this weird feeling, like, this feeling of, like, highness. I don't know what it is. I had an accident. And I pick these flowers and my friend was talking about angel trump flowers and I said man these flowers look like they can be an angel trump so I was walking down the road maybe that's why I don't know maybe God wants me to talk about it I was walking down the road and this guy goes you want to ride so I had a feeling I said look up these flowers and, and make sure um, they're angel trumps if they're angel trumpets and so I look it up and they can be poisonous and deadly and I have this weird feeling of myself. And I only picked them. And someone's got a lot growing. I got to throw them away. I, I made a mistake. I didn't know these flowers were deadly. And, you know, I was going off of what someone said. that What it could have looked like in my mind. And I've been picking flowers from the streets. Weird flowers. And without checking to see if they're deadly. This is 
So anyways, here's my exam review. Okay, history and career opportunities. Multiple choice. Which of the following civilizations was first to infuse essential oils, leaves, sparks, blossoms, plants for the use of perfumes, purifications, and purposes? Uh, mine would be saying the Egyptians. Let's see what it says. I would say the Egyptians. It says B, which is the Egyptians. The ancient blanks were the first to cultivate beauty and extravagant fashion. Well, I would say the Egyptians again. And it's not the Egyptians. Yeah, it is the Egyptians. It's just a different letter. <laughs> to achieve a greater look of intelligence during the Renaissance, women, I know what they did. They, they shaved their eyebrows. I didn't know the hairline, but let's see that that's what it is. They shaved their eyebrows and their hairline. During the Middle Ages, women wore colored makeup on their ears. Oh, why did I say ears? <laughs> I just repeated it. Colored, women colored makeup on their, well, let's see what it says. Four is C, on their lips. Okay, in ancient Rome, hair color was used by women to indicate B, um, class in society. Yeah, because you got red, you got black, and you got blonde. And I can't remember which was the higher class and lower class. I'm kind of confused. So, archaeologists believe that the practice of hair coloring and hairstyling began, I think it's the Ice Age. I know what this one is because I remember reading it on the first page. So, during the blank, women constantly used henna to add color to their lips and cheeks. I would say the Egyptian area. But, let's see. Seven is A? Yes, I'm right. So, let's read two pages of this because it's so small. Well, let's read, let's try to reach each chapter of this. See if it's small enough. Yeah, each chapter might be small enough. A blank provides a connection between salons and their staff and the rest of the beauty industry, providing information about their new products, new trends, and new techniques. So, eight is D. The distributor sales consultant. The distributor sales consultant provides a connection between the salons and their staff and the rest of the beauty industry by providing. Oops. I lost my page. By providing information about the products, new trends, and new techniques. However, this might be something I need to go over the ones that I already don't know. Which would be hard. In order to get experience providing hairstyle services on films and TV sets, you should be prepared to work blank for a period of time. Uh, let's see what nine is. B. To volunteer. You volunteer. I never would have imagined that. To be successful salon manager, you would have an aptitude for math and accounting and understand. Ah, oh, I don't know, but I pray you all don't have panic attacks. To be a successful salon manager, you have aptitude for math, accounting, and understand. I don't know. Admin, marketing? That's what I would think. 10 is what? B. Marketing is correct. The curling iron was invented by, I'm going to say, Vidal Sassoon or Marcel Gradu. Let's see which one it is. 11 is C. Marcel Gradu. So I was right. I don't know what Vidal Sassoon did. The inventor who produced solid makeup movie stars that would not cake or crack under lights. I know, that's Mac Factor. Let's see. 12 is B, okay? In 2003, the first con consumer-oriented DVD to a professional salon industry to order or speak directly to the consumer. I, I don't know. 13 is A. Sebastian International. So in 2003, Sebastian International introduced the first consumer oriented DVD profession and salon industry to speak directly to the consumer. So I could just read this a couple times. The individual credited with coining the term of the day spa is the term day spa. I would say Neil DiCaprio. 
and it's C, and that's right. The beauty icon who turned hairstyling world on its ear and revolutionary dramatic cuts was, I, I'd say, Vidal Sassoon, that he did geometric cuts, C, and that's correct. So that was Milady Standard Cosmetology Exam Review Chapter 1. Amen.